Welcome back to Taja's Cabin, a.k.a. Lakeside Cabin. We should get familiar with that name because that is the actual name of the mod now, but for the purposes of continuity, I'm going to continue to use both. I am McCrasson. This is part 10. Now, there's been a lot of work done on the house, and I think it's safe to say we're in the home stretch now. There's still a few things that need to be done, but uh, a lot of the major stuff is out of the way. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? So, as you can see clearly, we've got all the walls in place now. We've got the roof on here. This is a really difficult process because some things just did not want to... Uh, they just didn't want to line up right. And we've got a few things here on the porch. I may add some plants. Maybe a couple more planters. Not too much. Uh, I talked before about an FPS problem. I'm at 60 right now. It's when I go down on that side and, and look to the east that it's going to get... Uh, a little bit worse and I was hitting around 47 FPS before but I've been hanging around 50 right now so I'm, I am at 50 right now so it's not good but it's not bad I thought by building the rest of the walls and putting the roof on here we we're gonna be in worse shape but it's actually slightly better don't know why but that's a good thing uh, as you can see all the walls are in place now uh, this side came out really nice the excess part of the logs I was able to push into the fireplace that helped with that and you can see there's smoke coming out of the chimney it's hard to see against this overcast sky but we've got uh, smoke coming out of that chimney there from the fireplace in the players room and you also notice I've got these two big vertical pieces here they're doing the same thing that the uh, chimney's doing on the other side because I only have two pieces that I can use to build these walls with so excess pieces have to get pushed into here and pushed into here that's why that's why these uh, angle pieces are so thick that's how I make everything fit you'll also notice that this window is not centered here it's not in line with this one and that's for the same reason um, to get this one centered I either have a uh, one log that's too long or one that's too short and there's just no way to make the logs fit with the window if I put it right here so that's where it has to go either there or a little bit over to this side building walls with the pieces that I'm using that's the sacrifice you have to make so it looks a little odd but you know, that's what you got to do. So let's give us a good once, once around. How's that go? Uh, a once over. Uh, this is where the alchemy garden is going to go. This is one of the few things that are still remaining to be done. I'm probably going to raise the level of the landscape here, get a, a little bit closer to the bottom row of logs, not right up to it, but I'll raise it up a little bit more. Uh, this is where the alchemy garden is going to go. There's still a little more landscaping I want to do here. I'll probably add a few more planters here and there. I've got a little deck on the back. The spare room on the back, I went ahead and removed all that stuff. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was looking. I didn't think it was necessary. So I went ahead and removed that. This piece right here, I may or may not keep. Uh, I may put a dock here. I haven't decided yet. I probably will at some point though, but not right now. Uh, I may add some more furniture out here. I did talk about uh, putting this deck here on this side. I kind of like this. It's not quite a, a wraparound, but um, yeah, I like this arrangement. And you can see this one does not connect to the front because need to be able to come down this way to access the basement uh, the only thing I've done down here is to move the wood pile and the wood chopping block you can see I got a little bit of light coming through right there that's from the uh, forge so I'll have to adjust that a little bit I have a list of little things I need to fix that's one of them although my list was at one time uh, over 30 
thing items and I think there's only three or four left so we're making a lot of progress there were a lot of little things that needed to be adjusted if you remember this container right here was poking through the wall so that's been fixed uh, I also mentioned that these braziers were sticking into the stone so I've adjusted those also all of the containers are now hooked up as you can see everything is hooked up and working I have these items these won't be here when the mods done I had these in here to test out an armor mod that I've been working on which is now done but you'll see when we go inside that we'll be able to access this from the containers inside the house as well so let's add a few things to some of these other containers and we'll just make sure these are working we'll put a health potion in here and uh, I moved uh, I added uh, another pull chain one on the inside because it is possible to enter the house from the front door and come downstairs and even though you can actually reach that other pull chain from in here I decided to add a second one so you can open and close it from in here but that also meant I had to move the warrior stone I don't really like it being there but I don't know where else I can put it and here's the armor chest it is hooked up and working I've already tested these ones but we'll go ahead and put some ingredient or put some items in here anyway just to make sure uh, nothing else was done over here nothing was added removed changed repositioned the only thing we've done here is uh, add the pull chains there's one for this one as well and uh, move the warrior stone and get the containers hooked up I gotta do something with that door I may not keep it I haven't decided yet here's our ingredients container let's put something in here as well potion bottles I may still add something on here to shelf it just looks a little empty with that bare spot on the end but I can't keep adding things just for the sake of adding things because everything I put in here adds to the FPS problem so it may just have to live with it like it is and we've got several containers over here we've got our documents right now I was calling this girls notes and journals I thought that was a little long so we're just calling it documents And we've got the Soul Gem container. Jewelry box. And down here is the wardrobe. Now what you're seeing with all these, these are not the actual containers. These are just activators. Activators that allow us to access the containers. Most of these containers are in another interior cell. The player won't have access to it, but I do have a COC marker there, so we can actually go and look at it. There are three containers that are actually in the house. This is one of them right here. You can see it does actually open. And the others are... Let's see, there is, uh, the other two are the wardrobe, which is in the player's bedroom, and the jewelry box, which is also in the player's bedroom. We'll get up there and see that in a minute. Made one small change here to the armory. Since I added, you can see how this looks different now. Since I added an actual gem pit, those stairs that I had here were no longer necessary. The reason for the stairs here before, if you watch previous episodes, I talked about it. They prevent, if, I, if I'm if i dropping stuff on the floor, it prevents things from getting kicked out of there and rolling around the rest of the house. But now that I have an actual pit, they weren't necessary. So now we have, and we've got our, our gold piles in here. Finally got that situated. So that's it. I just took those stairs out. They weren't necessary anymore because we have an actual pit right here. So that's the only change down here. Um, let's go take a look at the rest of the house. A 
Long load screen. I like to edit those out in my Let's Play. Takes a while for the editing, but uh, I, I kind of like it that it's quick. Uh, nothing's been added or changed or removed in here. The only thing I did, um, I, only thing I've been doing around the house for the most part, you can see we've got the roof on here now. But the only thing I've been doing here is just adjusting things. Um, this chandelier, I forgot to add that one before, so I had to put that in. It looked kind of funny because I have the glowing spot there from the light source, but there was no actual light. Uh, I had to move this display case out a little bit because it was pushing into the wall. Little things like that. That's all I've been doing here on here. Um, all these containers are hooked up and working. I also added a container here for keys. Actually, let's go ahead and put something in here as well. Let's put a stamina potion in there. You can see jewelry box. There's a potion bottle. Soul gem. Potions, wardrobe. You can actually hear that one because it's upstairs. Ingredients, documents, crafting supplies. Here's all the stuff. Same thing that's in the uh, crafting supply downstairs. Weapons, staff, armor. All the items that those bottles we put in the containers downstairs, they're all linked to the same one up here. Just the way it was planned. So this looks pretty nice now that we actually have a ceiling in here. Um, nothing was done down at this end. I, I made some small adjustments to some of the light sources. One of them down below is bleeding into this area up here and the same thing over here. So I made some small adjustments down there. The library has been swapped around a little bit because I had the roof going the wrong way. You know, I, I had the roof coming along like this one all the way to the end and that's not how it was supposed to be. So I had to move the window over to here. I had to move the uh, table and chairs over to here and move the bookshelves around. Um, not a big deal though. A little extra work, a little oversight on my part, but no problem there. Uh, added some books on the bookshelves. Not too many, just something so they don't look completely bare. These things are kind of a pain to work with, so. But. That's just about it. Um, the light source in here, I raised it a little bit because it was, it was a little too low to the carpet. And this is a lighter carpet, so it was looking really, really bright. We'll take a look and see how this place is in the evening. Uh, over here, one small, small adjustment. The top of the bed here was pushing into the roof, so I had to move it to the left, which meant I had to put the nightstand over there on the right side. And you can see, here's the armor. Weapons, staff. Here's one of the actual containers, the wardrobe. Ingredients. You see there's the potion bottle we put in. Here's another actual container, jewelry box, soul gems, documents, crafting supplies. So you can see everything is all linked up and working correctly now. All the containers are just like they're supposed to be. So that's about uh, everything here. As far as I know, everything on the interior is done except for the nav mesh. So I don't think there's going to be... Unless I see something that needs to be moved or adjusted. Like I noticed this bookshelf was pushed into the wall. I had to adjust that a little bit. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. Just walk around and looking at every little bitty thing and seeing is this in the right spot. Is it too high, too low, too bright? Does it need to be adjusted? Because everything else is in place now. There's nothing else to add. There's nothing to remove. All the containers are hooked up. All these uh, weapon racks, weapon plaques. Even the ones over here, these are working. This is working. The dagger displays are working. So everything in here is done. And I think for the most part, everything in the basement's done. I got to do something with that door. 
And uh, other than that, it's just uh, the nav mesh. This needs to be nav meshed in the upstairs. And I need to nav mesh outside, add the alchemy garden and a little bit of landscaping. So I'd say we're about 85%, maybe 90% of the way there. But let's go ahead and um, let's wait a little bit and see how the lighting in here is. There hasn't been any significant changes. Like I said, I've adjusted the positions of a few light sources. But I haven't changed the emittance on, on any of these windows. I'm still working on the emittance for the exterior windows, so. though. Let's wait a couple more hours. So this light source I moved down a little bit because it was bleeding through upstairs. And the same with this one. And I think this light source is still bleeding through the one. Yeah, it is. So I may have to adjust that one. Something else to add to the list. But that one light source is not bleeding through up here anymore. There's a little bit coming through on that one. So I may have to tweak that one down a little bit. There's a storm rolling in this, rolling in this way too. I just... I, I'm going to need to wrap this up soon because I may have to shut down my system. I definitely do not need to be taking a lightning strike. Let's wait one more hour and we'll go see how the lighting is outside. Nice foggy evening. Look at that flying horse. Did you see it? I wonder where it went. Why is it every time I want to make a video for the cabin or something, there's a flying horse involved? Well, we won't worry about that right now. These, uh, I like the way these windows look at night. They're supposed to, and sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. What's supposed to happen is uh, in the morning, it'll change from yellow to amber to uh, dark amber, and then they go black. But they don't always do that. And I'm, I'm not sure why that is. They look pretty good right now. Instead of being white. A bright white. Like like that. Well, I don't know what those are set at. I've been trying a lot of different things. But you can see this is what they look like in their normal setup. And that's just not natural. I mean, it's not fluorescent lights in here, you know? Okay, this light here is blinking on and off again. Sometimes this does this, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what, why sometimes it does that. Really don't. And for whatever reason, at some point, a little after 10 o'clock, it seems like all the light sources in here, they go a little bit dim. Yeah, I noted... I mentioned that before, I think it was in the last video, where it just seemed like all of a sudden it just got darker. It didn't get darker outside, it just got dark in here. It's like all the lights just went, dropped about, I don't know, like 25-50% of their brightness. Just Somebody just flipped a switch. It's light enough to see what you're doing, it's just, it could be better. I can turn on my... Uh, travel lantern and see a little bit so uh, what is left then well as I said there's still a little bit of landscaping to do I'm not settled on this arrangement with the decks but I'll probably leave it this, this isn't too bad um, there's our flying horse he is out of here nope Okay, you're just gonna hang there. Hey, you got a rider too. Are you gonna come down anytime soon? Should I? What was that? Ah, oh, fix that problem. Yeah, I'm always here to help. Horses back on the ground, safe and sound. Can't say the same for the rider. 
So again, uh, a little bit of landscaping. I need to smooth out this area right here a little bit more. I may move this tree a little bit, not too much. I may move it away from here a little bit so I can get a nice, a nice, uh, a better slope here, a better transition for this spot. Uh, let's see what else. We got a little more work to do back here. Most of this part right here, I'm going to push down so it's the the shoreline will be up to maybe up to like around here. Um. Oh, the travel lantern isn't helping a lot, is it? So, this door, I may replace it. But, I, you know, if there's a gap up here, I need to fix that. I need to raise the elevation of the terrain here. Because there's a gap under the wall. It's, it's just little things like that. There's no, there's no big... Uh, adjustments that have to be done with the with the terrain but there are some minor things that have to be done and of course the alchemy garden and then we need to do the nav mesh thing and that's about it but here's where we're at right now so the emittance i have for these windows is not the same one as for these windows and this one doesn't change they stay yellow like that all the time I wish they would go dark in the daytime, but I've not found one yet that'll do that. Um, it's different emitting settings from if you're using it from the interior, because you have two drop downs, one for interior, one for exterior. So I don't know. We we we'll see. I keep I keep testing them. We'll figure something out, but it's come along pretty good. It's actually usable right now, aside from the I mean not having alchemy garden, but I mean I could go ahead and start oh before I forget I could start using it right now uh, lakeside cabin what did I call it lakeside cabin storage yeah we'll COC into this room and here's where the actual containers are aside from the jewelry and the wardrobe and the crafting supplies but there's the keys and you can see there's that stamina potion bottle we put in there. Every one of these, they're all they're all hooked up. These are the actual containers. So you may be wondering why do I have this gigantic room just for that? Uh, the reason is I'm also going to put in here the containers for the plantable garden and if you don't know how those those works the, the the soils that you can plant and harvest from those things have to be linked to a container and for whatever reason Bethesda chose the container to use as NPCs so at some point this room is going to be full of NPCs who are just going to be standing here and that's it they're just going to be standing around and each one is going to be linked to one plantable soil it's weird we'll look at it later when i get that hooked up i think we're probably at the point of of only having uh one or two more episodes uh but we'll we'll come in here and look at that when those npcs are in here and walk around it's kind of hilarious because they're all like hello what can i do for you need something and, you know it's like you walk around and there's like 20 or 30 people all saying the same thing but they just stand here do nothing it's uh, it's really strange, but that's how it's done. Anyway, that's what this room is for, to house containers. So, I think that's where we will wrap it up now. Uh, like I said, nav meshing, a little more uh, tweaking to the terrain, landscaping, and the alchemy garden. I think that's just about going to be it. I may add that fountain where those skeletons usually spawn and, and maybe drop in a stable. Uh, but that's that's about it. Uh, the interior, as far as I can tell, is done now. There's nothing else to add or remove or fix uh, other than nav mesh. Everything in the interior is done, and the exterior of the house is now done. All the walls, the roof, everything's in place. So we're getting very, very close. So I'm thinking maybe one more episode, and I might do a follow-up on that just to test things. But um, almost there. 
almost there. It's a usable house right now. I could put this in my Let's Play and start using it, but uh, I really want the Alchemy Garden, so I'm going to get that done, and I'd like to be able to test it a little bit before I bring it in. So, we'll see. But that's where we're going to leave it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Have a great day. And I will see you in part 11, which may be the last one. See you then.